In this week's lesson, we are going to focus on posting some announcements as well as questions. And it's really posting the same way we have been for the past couple weeks, but it's showing you a few extra tools that are available and at your disposal. So what I want to show you first is we're going to post a question to our students. If you remember previously, when you clicked on the Students tab, we have the option to change who can post or comment. We have it turned off so that only the teacher can post. Students cannot post. However, I want them to respond to something. So one of the tricks and tools, we're going to create another question this week, but I want to make an assignment out of it. So what I mean by that. In class, we've been studying symbiosis. So I want my students to watch a video and then respond to something in the video. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, but you turned off the commenting function, by posting a question, students can't reply, but they can only reply in this section. So it doesn't turn on all of the features, it only turns on this single feature for this assignment. So let's try this out. Again, as we've seen in the other assignments, you can do a due date and time. We're going to say that students can reply to each other. I'm going to turn off their ability to edit. So once it's posted, it's posted. Now, here's one of the other really cool, neat tricks I want to show you this week. When I say insert video, I can search for videos within the box. So what's neat is I can choose this one. Say I want to preview it. I can click and click again. I could preview this whole video. I'm actually going to add this one because I know what this one is about. I've watched it. And there you go. So I've searched for videos. I've added it in and this time I've added a question that I actually want students to respond and answer to. And it hasn't turned it on for all students. Again, same thing. Notice that you can add different attachments, things from Google Drive, videos, or links, just as you can in other items, but this is going to change it up a little bit and force them to supply a visual answer to everybody. Okay, so we're on the student side of things here, and I have logged in to take a look at what assignment has been left for me. I'm on the dashboard where I can see all my classes. I'm only enrolled in one, which is the biology class that Ms. Bubnick is teaching. And I can even see right here on my card, it says due today. And it gives me kind of a short tease about what that might be. So let's go ahead and get inside the class and see what's there. Now on my stream, I can see that I have uh, an assignment that's actually due today. And if I scroll down, the student can actually see that there is one that is late. We'll deal with that one later. Uh, so this one asked me to watch a short video. I can click right here and go directly into the video. It tells me it's about five minutes or I can actually open up the assignment. Let's just go ahead and click the video, see that it opens up. So we'll assume that we have watched the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and open up the entire assignment, and I need to find an example of symbiosis in nature, and then describe the type of symbiosis that it is. Now I've already actually done a little bit of work. I went out there and found a really cool video uh, from National Geographic. The wasp has a more exquisite punishment for the ape. With a clinical precision, the wasp ejects a single egg into each aphid's body. This means a slow. Ah, oh, that's death just gross. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my answer here. And in this case, uh, when I typed out my answer, I've got the written part and I've also left a link there so I can go back and see the video. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And there it is. Uh, if I hover over this little eye here, it lets me know that classmates will see my answer. So everybody can see each other's answers, and then I could go and see other classmates' answers. Uh, but the teacher can leave a private comment for me here, or I can add my own comment that would be private uh, to the teacher. So there you go, there's answering a question based on a video and actually uh, putting a link in that answer.